So now we have these two machines, A and B, and we want to replicate both of these machines. So both of these will be copies of each other. So this means, let's, let's say you have a client over here, and this could either be your web server, it could be anyone who's writing to this database. Now remember, these machines are database machines. So they're only used for storage. Who's writing to them? We don't care. We only care that the database stores whatever is written to them and retrieves it when needed. So how do we synchronize the data between these two machines? There's two ways to do this. The first is synchronous replication, and the second is asynchronous replication. Let's go over synchronous replication first. With synchronous replication, when you do a write, so let's say there's a write coming in here, database B will do the write on its own hard drive, so this is the hard drive, and it'll request database A to write it in its own hard drive as well. Once database A is done writing, only then will the database return back an acknowledgement saying that this write was written. It's right? so only when data is committed on both these machines does the write succeed, hence the name synchronous. Now the second method is asynchronous replication. With this, database B does not wait for database A to write it to its hard drive. Database B simply commits it to its local hard drive and then returns the acknowledgement right away. Eventually, database A will receive the write. This is why it's called asynchronous replication 